Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. So I've been home for about 10 hours from Dallas and I'm back to work on this beast right here, this uh, boat we're working on. Just got started, 21 footer, needs the works. We're gonna polish this thing, get it all straight in the, on the interior and then we're gonna coat everything. So, here goes nothing. Uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead, I guess. <laughs> Here's the boat. First order of business is I got some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to get this adhesive off. He removed a stick, the stickers and stuff. You can see how chalky it is. Got a little bit of shine. You can see on the interior how just used and chalky. Not too, too bad, but definitely needs some TLC. Got to get this adhesive off there get that transom shining again more adhesive to remove and that's that All right, got my new floppy hat. I love these things, especially the ones that protect my neck. I'm turning around trying to show you while I'm turning the camera, what an idiot. All right, well, anyway, so I'm, I'm, we're getting getting rolling on this Key West and uh, I'll be back to show you some progress. All right, guys, so I've been working on this hull of this Key West and I did a couple of different things. So what I usually don't talk to you guys about is wet sanding gel coat, but I am really, really doing a lot of it these days just because it, it really helps the overall, um, the outcome of the detail uh, is, is much better. So when you sand gel coat, and I'm gonna do, I'll am gonna do another video on sanding gel coat. Um, you get a little, little butterfly, see him? No, maybe you don't. Um, I do another video on sanding gel coat, but I wanted to show you just real quick, check this. So this area right here, this section, you probably can't see. I did not sand. All I did was compound it with uh, gel coat oxidation eater and it looks really good. It looks awesome. But I used a uh, the Merca Aberlon 1000 grit on this section and then I compounded that out with the gel coat oxidation eater and it looks a lot better. You can't tell what I'm talking about. I don't think you can see all this, but it needs to be sanded. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't a, the agreed upon part of this detail and it does cost extra money because I basically it's a full another step and those discs aren't cheap. So basically, it's not a part of this deal, but I wanted to see, I wanted to just do a test. I wanted to show the owner of the boat what is possible um, with just sanding and then polishing. And so I'm gonna be able to do that with those two spots, but you can see the gloss is back. Looks awesome. Um, I had tape here. I had tape right there where you can see that dull spot and then there was tape there, obviously. So it definitely looks better. The reality is this is not going to last as long as that. So when you mow down, I mean, you've got mills upon mills of gel coat. It's not like clear coat on the car, guys. Um, there's lots of material to work with. You can sand it uh, with a thousand grit without having to worry about a whole lot. You obviously want to be careful and pay attention to what you're doing, but you can see the results. It looks much better. The sanded part looks much better. Uh, but the unsanded part doesn't look bad at all. So I'm going to keep on keeping on, but I wanted to show you guys just the difference between sanded and unsanded. I really just wish I could show you more on camera. I can't see. Oh, yeah, you can. You can see in here where it's all spotty and patchy 
where all that's gone over here. I mean, it's still got some defects, but there's no patchy nastiness like this. And this is just deep, deep, deep in the gel coat, so it has to be sanded off. When you sand into oxidation like this and you remove the oxidation and you're cutting into the gel coat and then you refinish that, your details will last a lot longer, but it's a lot more work, which is why a lot of guys don't do it. Me, I mean, I charge for the extra work, but I always show everybody what the difference is and I wanted to show this guy this because it's a huge difference. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep on keeping on. We'll bring you back to see some more. All right, so I'm sanding this thing down with a thousand grit and then I'm compounding with the gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish from my marine series at detailjuice.com and it looks amazing. Seriously. Tony does all the good stuff. You've all heard that, right? <laughs> I'm the worker bee. She's the one in charge. Just saying. <laughs> Alright guys, we're about, I don't know, hours and hours in to this thing because I'm doing it right like I always do. We take a little bit more time sometimes when we sand because that's how you get a more even basically even polish. Uh, so where we're at right now is I've got this side completely done. I machine sanded this with a uh, thousand grit and then uh, I polished it out with the gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish. We did the same thing to the full interior. Tony's over here now polishing the center console, but look at this interior. We haven't polished all of it, just this area here. We won't be done for probably a couple more hours, but uh, when we are finished, uh, the light should be a little dimmer. We, we should be able to, I should be able to show you more of, of what's going on. I'm about to start compounding this side of the hull. Uh, I have sanded the transom and this side of the hull really well and uh oh you can see some of that gloss she got look at that it's looking good in there all right well i'm not going to waste any more time we're trying to be done in the next couple of hours so uh, we went ahead and pulled uh the trailer apart a little bit uh, so that i could get underneath here and i sanded it all down and now it's about time to start polishing it so all right here goes nothing all right guys you can see I've got some sunburn on my nose and face. This has been a day, let me tell you. We got here at about 9.30 this morning and uh, it is 6 p.m. now. So we've been working for quite a while. So 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1, 30, 2, 30. So we are like nine hours into this times two. So we got 18 man hours on this boat right here. And let me tell you, it looks amazing. You ready to see it? Let's do that. All right, so it was all kinds of oxidized. And now it is not. Couple things real quick. When I get done with a job, I wanna make sure, especially if the client's not here. He, he was here most of the day while we were working and the gentleman had to leave. Uh, so what I did was I made sure, and if you look around, there's no mess anywhere. And I took my little pressure washer and I basically diluted all of the polish residue that had dropped and all the dust and that kind of thing. I also wiped down the trailer really nicely. Nobody wants to look at a really nice, clean, amazing looking boat and then look down and the trailer looks like garbage because the detailer didn't clean it up. So remember that. So uh, where did we, where do we start? So we did a solid scrub down and wash on this thing. 
Uh, we did some acid washing on the interior a little bit and uh, I sanded literally sanded everything all of the Jill coat the center console the gunnels on the interior the hull the transom I sanded everything with 1000 grit sandpaper oh look at that would you look at it just look at it after I sanded everything with a thousand grit, look at that. I'm glad we're walking around it because I forgot some stuff. After I was done sanding with 1000 grit sandpaper, man, look how shiny everything looks. I then compounded everything with my DeWalt rotary and the seven and a half inch medium cutting wool pad. that I sell at detailjuice.com, the double-sided. I use that and my gel coat oxidation eating compounding polish from my marine series at detailjuice.com. I followed that with my marine series gel coat finishing polish with the DeWalt cordless dual action polisher. After that, I wiped everything down with the Universal Clean and Prep, and then we coated everything. It got my extreme protection package. Man, it's glossy. Uh, I polished and coated the engine cowl and the body and lower unit. I did not uh, do anything with the skeg down there. Just because it's missing paint and all that. I also didn't do anything with the prop. I generally don't. But you can see how amazing everything looks back here. Super clean, super nice. We polished the edge and the top of that stand there. We removed those seats, cleaned underneath them, cleaned the seats. Uh, we got the console all clean. Leaning post is all clean and looking great. I mean, this gloss, guys. This is a 2003 Key West 21-footer. Oh, and you probably remember... Oh, that thing's got a hole in it. Look at that. You probably... It's been fixed a couple times. You probably remember how moldy and gross it was before we got working on it. It looks amazing now. Just saying. We polished all the non-skid on the interior. Let's see if I can get up here. We polished all the non-skid in there. Does that make it slicker? Yeah, just a little bit. Not bad enough to worry about slipping and falling. But it's almost like a new boat now. I mean, we sanded it and compounded it. Look how glossy this boat is now. This thing is 18 years old. So, that's it. Looking great. All right, guys, if you need a boat detailed, call me, 813-846-4406. If you need some advice on detailing your boat, call me. If you need some products to detail your boat, call me, 813-846-4406. I can help you with your detailing endeavors. All you got to do is use the number. And no other product line manufacturer on the face of the planet leaves his personal cell phone number for you to contact him at any time and that's what i do so check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my processes my products and what i've got going on so um if i can help you in your detailing endeavor or if you need something detailed please call me um and that's it thank you guys so much for listening to me babble and checking out the work that i have worked so hard on today I really enjoy doing boats. I really, really enjoy doing boats. Can you tell? 
that I really enjoy doing boats. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and listening to me babble. I appreciate you. Have a great day guys.